Welcome to Dr. Will Smith's Playlist, where we explore music from many different perspectives. And today's episode, we're talking about Billy Taylor's piece, I Wish I Knew How It Would Feel to Be Free, in honor of this 4th of July weekend. And my first time actually hearing this song was hearing Dr. Billy Taylor play it in person at a funeral for the great bassist Keeter Betts. And I've been fortunate to meet and talk with Dr. Taylor several times over the years, first in college and then at several jazz conventions. This song truly encapsulates the mood for the Civil Rights era and in honor of the 50th anniversary of the passing of the Civil Rights Act and actually the signing of the Civil Rights Act on July 2nd, 1964. And also, of course, the anniversary of the founding of this country 238 years ago. I wanted to explore the ideas expressed in the title of this song. And legal freedom for African Americans hadn't happened until the passing of the Civil Rights Act of 1964, which ended years of segregation and second class status for citizens who endured slavery, persecution, and terrorism since before the founding of this nation. And it is within this context that Dr. Taylor wrote this piece. And when it was written, he and many other African Americans were not free. The original recording of this song was on November 12, 1963, only nine months before the actual signing of the Civil Rights Act. And in January of 1963, newly elected Governor Alabama George, excuse me, newly elected Governor of Alabama George Wallace announced in his inaugural address, "Segregation now, segregation tomorrow, segregation forever." And in May of that year, Commissioner Bull Connor unleashed the dogs and fire hoses on African American demonstrators in Alabama. And also in Mississippi, Medgar Evers is murdered on June 12th, right after JFK announces his support for the Civil Rights Act. And MLK, Martin Luther King, delivered his I Have a Dream speech in August of that year in 63. And in September, on the 16th, at the 16th Street Baptist Church, it was bombed and with the death of uh, four girls from that incident. So this is the context with which Dr. Taylor is recording this song. In November of that year, all of this stuff has happened and it ha- happened, and Dr. Taylor's going in with his trio to record this song. And only 10 days after the recording of this song, President John F. Kennedy is assassinated in Dallas on November 22nd. So it's, this piece has a lot of energy in it, and I truly believe songs contain the energy and vibration of what the composer is feeling at the time. And as you listen to the performance of this piece, you can feel the zeitgeist, zeitgeist, that's the spirit of the time that musicians were responding to. And in this context, let us remember those who fought for our legal freedoms, but also let us strive to expand those freedoms for others. So give a listen to the track, and I hope you have a great 4th of July weekend.